In this module, we are going to review some basic semantics concepts. I assume that anyone taking this class has had a class in semantics before, but this is just a quick memory refresher on some concepts that will be relevant for pragmatics also. Um, so the focus of this module is going to be what is the meaning of a word or a sentence and what does it mean to say that we know what something means? So for example, if you know the word dog, what do you actually know, right? What is the meaning of the word dog? Um, in the module online, we review some possible explanations and we review why they don't really work out. Uh, the explanation that we'll focus on in this video is the idea of truth conditions, right? So this notion in semantics is that if you know what the word dog means, that means you can look at anything in the world and you can say, yes, that's a dog or no, that's not a dog, right? So you can look at this good girl on the photo on the left-hand side and say, yes, that's a dog. Or you can look at this guy on the right and say, no, that's not a dog. And that's what it that's what it is to know what the word dog means. Right? It means you can do that for anything. Um, if you can't do that, you don't know what the word dog really means. Um, so this is the notion called truth conditions. Right? Um, what that means is to know the meaning of a word like dog or a or any other word or any sentence or phrase. It means you can look at something and you can say yes, that's a dog or no, that's not a dog. That's truth conditions. Um, the, this concept in semantics is that <clears throat> to know what an expression means, that means you know what conditions have to be met for that expression to be true. It doesn't mean that you know, you know the sentence is true or not. It just means you know the conditions that it would need to be true. So to take another example, if I say the last person who came into my office was wearing a purple t-shirt, you probably don't know if that's true or not, right? Assuming you don't have a camera in my office and you're not a spy, you don't know who came into my office last. You don't know if they were wearing a purple t-shirt, but you know what would need to happen for this sentence to be true. And that's what it is to know what this sentence means, right? So that's the idea of truth conditions. And uh, a lot of semanticists believe that truth conditions are what meaning is, right? To know what a word means or to know what a sentence means is to know its truth conditions. Um, there's a closely related concept called entailment. And this is a concept you'll hear a lot in semantics and pragmatics. So for example, if I say I ate a red apple, that sentence entails, I ate an apple, right? So what that means is if it's true that I ate a red apple, then it must be true that I ate an apple, right? There's no way that I could eat a red apple without eating an apple. That's what entailment is, right? Entailment is um, if one sentence or one expression is true, then there's some other expression that must be true for the first one to be true. That's an entailment relationship, right? We say the first one, oh, we say the first one entails the second one. Um, and if you think about it, you should be able to see that entailments are the same thing as truth conditions, right? An entailment is something that um, for I ate a red apple to be true, then the sentence I ate an apple has to be true, right? That's part of the truth conditions of the word of the sentence, I ate a red apple. Right? So these are very closely related. Um, and in fact, throughout this class, you will you might see me using these terms interchangeably. So truth conditional meaning, entailment, semantic meaning, literal meaning. Uh, these are all essentially the same things. I might use these terms interchangeably to mean the literal meaning of a sentence, right? If we think back to two modules ago, we talked about what is said versus what is meant. These are all other terms for what is said, 